So in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to write your name in light, like this example here. So I'm just gonna get started. Um, I'm gonna create a new composition, 1280 by 720, uh, frame rate, it doesn't matter, 30 frames a second, and duration 120, okay. Just gonna zoom into 100%. Okay, so next I'm gonna create the text layer. So I'm just gonna use, um, a name like Jeffrey and I'm going to choose a font that is sort of like handwriting um, I'm just going to go through these options quickly okay so say this one here I'm just going to scale it up and I'm just going to move this to the center and I'm going to lock this layer so next I'm going to go to window motion sketch and I'm going to check background so basically this allows us to capture um, the motion of the mouse. So I'm literally gonna draw a path by hand. Before we can do this, uh, I'm gonna create a null, null object. And now I can start the capture. So I'm gonna click um, start capture and I'm gonna draw the path. So something like I'm just trying to trace over, whoops, I have to do that again. We're kind of running out of time, <laughs> that's the problem. Um, yeah, so this is something you might bump into. Uh, I'm just gonna extend the length of the composition to 350 frames, we've got a lot of time to work with. And I'm just gonna extend these. Okay. Now let's start, try that again. Select the null, start capture. Okay. And then it kind of trails out. Okay, so it's a bit messy, but we have this uh, hand-drawn path. So I'm just gonna hide um, the text layer and we can see that the null is following our path. It's a bit messy, but um, once we add the light, uh, it'll look a lot better. So next I'm gonna create a particular layer. So solid, um, just call it part. I'm just gonna go to effect, uh, trap code, particular. We get the emitter. I wanna attach this emitter to my null that's kind of moving around there. So I'm just gonna go to emitter in particular Hit P on the null to open up its position, go back to particular, and alt click this uh, stopwatch position XY. And now we get this pick whip. So I'm gonna click and drag and link that to position, let go. And the particles are now coming off the null, which is what we want, except they're scattering too much. So I'm gonna turn down velocity, zero, zero, uh, basically velocity, velocity random, and velocity distribution. I'm gonna set them all to zero. Uh, velocity from motion, make that one. Okay, so now we basically get this uh, line. Uh, we wanna close these gaps, so increase the particles per second. Not too much, but um, a little bit more. Go to particle. Instead of sphere, choose streaklet. Uh, increase the size slightly to about here and and color you can do anything you want here but I'm just going to choose like a dark blue darks better because we're then going to use the add op, uh, add transfer mode set this to add so now we basically get that iPod uh, streaklet effect it's a bit kind of static by the way if you want to extend the life basically the beginning disappears here just extend the life of the particles. Uh, where is it? Life here. And now we can see the beginning. So, might just extend the life a bit more. And it's kind of a bit stiff, so you might want to add some physics. Uh, you might want to add a little bit of gravity, so it kind of falls down, maybe 0.5. And then in air, Turbulence field, uh, effect position. You might want to add some turbulence. Um, 
Let's see what this does. So the animation is a bit slow. So to speed it up, I'm just going to go to my null, hit U to reveal all the keyframes, select them all by clicking and dragging, and then hold down Alt and grab that end keyframe and then pull them in. And that just kind of basically stretches the entire uh, keyframe range. I'm just going to clip the animation here. I'm going to hit N and then trim comp to work area. I'm just going to play this back. And now the animation's a bit quicker. Um, I'm going to increase my particles per second to close those gaps. Um, there's a few other settings we can play with. Opacity over life. Uh, make it kind of fade towards the end. Like this. Um, we can add some wind, kind of cause them to kind of blow away towards this direction. Do this sort of effect. As you can see, the Jeffrey text is kind of jagged. Uh, this is because when we captured, we should have set the smoothing higher. So that's just something to bear in mind. If you don't want this kind of polygony, jagged look, then just set the smoothing to something like eight. But um, that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna increase the particle size. Uh, we can do size over life, lots of cool kind of settings in particular. Can make them kind of taper out, something like this. That looks a bit nicer. Okay, so that's basically how you write your name in text. If you want to see the beginning there, the J for longer, just increase the particle life. Uh, if you want them smoother, just before you capture, set the smoothing to four or eight, a value much higher than one. And uh, yeah, that's the end of the tutorial. So please share this and thanks for watching.